Hello there. Welcome. My name is Richard Schneeman. By popular request, we are going to talk about taking data from a spreadsheet and putting it into your database. This is uh, something that quite a few listeners want to do. So if uh, you're not too interested, maybe you can skip ahead to the next video, or you can stick around and see what this is all about. So to get started, we're going to need a CSV file. This is going to be a comma separated variable file. So here on the left hand side we've got the name of our products and on the right hand side we've got the price. We might have many 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 um, more diff more columns and you know definitely more rows than this but this is just kind of uh, an example. So notice that they are separated by a comma. So inside of Ruby we can use the CSV library which comes built in. You'll be happy to know. Uh, so we can require CSV, and then we can call CSV dot for each, pass in the path to that uh, CSV file, and then have a do end block. Uh, so here inside of this do end block, we are going to be um, using a the row variable. So we are going to be putting row dot inspect. So this is going to for each line, it's going to just output that row. So when we run this we are going to get an array of the first row and on the left hand side it's going to be the name of our product like we we showed previously and then the product price and then as it keeps on going it another name another price another name another price and it's just going to keep on going and going and going until we have uh, completely gone through that entire uh, CSV so that's how we can get that data out of the CSV and into Ruby in kind of a standard way. Um, but now we need to add it to our database with Active Record. So we can use the the we can use the bracket syntax and pull out the first element from the row. So this, that is index zero. So we are saying row a bracket zero, which is saying grab the first. Um, first element from the row array, which is going to be and assigning that to a variable of name. Then we are saying grab the element in the index of one, which is the second element in our row, and assign that to a variable of price. Now notice we do have to call 2i on this, which is uh, converting that price into an integer. And the reason we're doing that, all of these values we're getting from the spreadsheet are going to be come back as strings. So um, Ruby doesn't know, you know, how to uh, how to how to interpret them. So we have to do that for we have to manually do that. So once we have those values, now we have price and we have name. Then we can call product.create, pass in the name and the price. And when we run this, we're going to for each and every row, we're going to create a new product. And we're going to keep on going until we are completely out of rows. Um, so, as I mentioned previously, the data from the RCSV will not have any type data, so we have to convert it. So we can use two i to underscore i, um, and that's pretty much it. It's uh, it's relatively straightforward. There's some good documentation on it. Uh, there's also some other third party open source libraries for pars parsing CSV, um, but we do want to make sure that uh, that we can run this and have access to our Rails application. So in order to do that, we are going to put our script inside of a rake task. So that is going to be the next video that we're going to, we are going to talk about is using rake tasks to build uh, scripts that we can run in Ruby projects as well as in Rails projects. So stay tuned. Again, my name is Schneems. Thanks for sticking around.